Hey kids, coming up next, it's the Jolly Farm Review Marathon. No, no, don't switch it. I want to watch Jolly Farm. Oh, son of a bitch, I gotta spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows. I'd rather watch paint dry. Nice. This is the greatest show in the history of television. Mother Maggie, you are a kindred spirit. This must be how twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. You don't understand, Brian. What am I supposed to do without Jolly Farm? I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Hey, 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 what the hell is all the commotion in here? We're not doing anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of you out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father. Good. Well, it's getting on my nerves. Like, right now, you are the most annoying thing in my life, with the possible exception of Evite. What's this? It's this website you can use to invite people to stuff. Does it have to be a significant event? No, not at all. Well, do you just get the invitation and that's the end of it? No, it'll remind you about it constantly. Is there any way I can customize this to showcase my personality through familiar clip art? Yes. And what about those replying? Can they demonstrate their sense of humor through hilarious replies? Yes, yes, yes to everything you're saying. I'm so excited to get started. You do that while I jump out this window. Evite, tell a friend and then kill yourself. But Lois, we already made plans. Yeah, I can't leave those guys alone. The last time they hung out without me, it was a disaster. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Yeah, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! What? No, he's in a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. Hey, Peter, you want to go hit the clam? Nah, there's no way she's in the mood. Let's just go to the bar. Sounds good. Heading to the bar with my friend, Peter. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. Yeah, me too. I bet I was a doctor who had to deal with a lot of serious stuff, but always found a way to keep things light. Oh, my God, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. It's not yours. Yours died. Yeah, and I bet I answered the customer complaint line at a Danish cookie company. Hello, Danish cookie company. No, I know they don't taste very good. Well, because they're very dry, aren't they? I mean, they, they came in a tin. How fresh do you think they were going to be? Look, it's dark and freezing in Denmark. Everybody who made these cookies has shot themselves. Well, I bet I did something really important and exciting. Like, like maybe I was a speechwriter for the first ever black president. Hey, can he say the word ask, or, or is that a word we should avoid? Yeah, and I bet you I was the voice of an animated bird. I thought I saw a cat. I did see a cat. Probably hogging blankets. And if he's not smothering me, he's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I do hope this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Matters stateside have taken a tragic turn as this year's gourd crop has fallen prey to a rather unexpected infestation of salt marsh cutworms. Dip, 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 dip. Peter, it's four in the morning. Come to bed. Marital concerns continue to bedevil me. Ugh, strong women always turn out to be nightmares, like Joan of Arc. 
Hey guys, I'm not like other girls. I kill people and burp and watch so much porn. Isn't that cool? No. I like a lot of goofball comedies that other chicks don't like. My favorite thing to play is Call of Duty. Look me up. I'm Guitar Girl 76. Let's burn this chick at the stake. I love steak. Other girls don't. I'm actually more like a dude. Hey guys, don't come in my room. I might be rubbing one in. Hey, how was gym class? Terrible. You know, I don't think I can take another semester at the school, Ruth. It's torture. It's worse than sitting next to a baby on an airplane. So what brings you to Kentucky? I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Me? Single and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Insurance is the game. And right now, the game is very good to me. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Hey, that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh, earthquake! Hey, come on! Careful! Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Quagmire. I'm still just upset about the damn government sticking its nose in my business. I hear you. Wasting our tax dollars on ridiculous causes. We gotta protect bald eagles? Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. All I'm saying is you're being used and you're too clueless to know it. Well, you just think you're so superior, don't you? Like that first creature to walk on dry land. Hey, where'd you go? I went for a jog. What's a jog? It's a great way to stay in shape is what it is. Is it like a swim? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's nothing like a swim. He sure did. The government's really gotten out of hand. Yeah, those bastards have ruined everything. The same way the village people ruined any gathering of a cop, an Indian chief, and a construction worker. Oh my god! Can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now where were we? Oh yeah, we've got to solve that security problem for the Indian casino we're constructing. Man, that was some pretty impressive police work, Joe. Thanks, Quagmire. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Well, just so you know, this is a really big deal. And they even asked me to be a guest on Muy Importante. Muy Importante! Muy Importante! Muy Importante! Importante! Muy importante! A donkey just bit a child in the hallway. Peter, you blew up their marriage! This was a huge mistake! Well, we've all made mistakes. Eh. Ah, mom, mom. Why did the sign say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door! Ah.